should you actively invest in stocks or stick with simple index funds? It is a question many people, whether they are new to investing or seasoned investors, often think about. In this video, we'll dive into how active investing performs compared to passive index investing. And by the end, we'll help you figure out which path might be the right fit for you. My name is Kanak and welcome back to my channel. Your support is what keeps this channel running. So if you find this video helpful, then show your support by liking and subscribing to the channel. All right, before we dive in, let's quickly break down the difference between active versus passive investing. Active investing is when you or a fund manager makes the decision to buy or sell stocks based on the analysis or research. So basically, someone is actively choosing where and when to invest. On the flip side, passive index investing is putting your money in funds that just follow specific indexes like S&P 500 in the US or Nifty 50 in emerging markets like India. With passive investing, neither you nor any fund managers are the stock pickers. All right, here's an interesting story that will tell you the central point of this video. Back in 2008, Warren Buffett threw a million dollar challenge to all the hedge fund managers. He bet that over the next 10 years, the S&P 500 index will outperform a bunch of actively managed funds combined. Buffett asked any of the fund managers to come forward and accept his bets. Surprisingly, only Ted sides from Prodigy Partners accepted the bet. Ted got to pick and shuffle his top five funds during the bet. Now fast forward to 2017, Buffett shared the results in his annual shareholder letters. And guess what? He won the bet. Not a single one of Ted's chosen five funds could beat the S&P 500 returns. Even with the top-notch qualification and fat paychecks, these hedge fund managers could not beat the market. There are very well-researched studies showing that overall, actively managed funds don't do as well as stock indexes. This isn't just true in the developed markets like the US, UK or Japan, but also in emerging markets like India. Over the long haul, like 3, 5 or 10 years, actively managed mutual funds tend to give investors lower returns compared to the indexes such as S&P 500 or Nasdaq 100 in the US or Nifty 50 in India. One big reason for this is the high fees that the funds charge. Actively managed funds can charge up to 2% in management fees. So for every $100 you invest, you could be shelling out $2 each year to the fund manager. Consider this, for a fund manager to give you 1% more returns than the index, after factoring in their 2% fees, they would actually need to outperform the index by 3%. Pulling off a consistent 3% outperformance over the long term is quite rare. What all of this tells us is that if the best and well-paid minds of the industry are unable to beat the index, then the odds are against an average person who's trying to pick stocks and beat the index. Now let's tackle our initial question. Should you actively dive into individual stocks or active funds? Or should you simply stick to passive index investing? Here are three options to consider. The first option is to go fully passive mode. In this case, you go all in on passive investing, putting 100% of your money into index funds. No active stock picking nor active mutual funds. The second option is to go majority passive and only 10 to 20% active. In this case, you engage in some active stock picking or invest in active mutual funds ranging from 10 to 20% of your portfolio. The rest 80 to 90% stays in passive index investments. The third option is to go majority active. In this case, if you have strong belief in your abilities, then you can allocate up to 80 to 100% of your portfolio to active stock picking or active mutual funds and only marginally into passive index investing. The right choice really comes down to what you personally like. The numbers show it is tough to beat the passive index investing. But if you have fun researching stocks, enjoy the whole investing process, or just like to learn about different businesses, active investing might be your choice. But here's the catch. Going the active route means there is a good chance you might not do as well as the index over the long run. But if you are intentionally choosing to play the active game, you are aware and okay with the risk of not outperforming. 